Motor Week is made possible by Rock Auto and Tire Rack. Now, Fiat is well known worldwide for their diminutive 500 or Cinquecento. It's the 124 Coupe and Spider that first introduced most Americans to the brand back in the late 1960s. And after using the 500 to reintroduce themselves here in the States, Fiat has now launched an all new 124 Spider for us to enjoy. But this is no throwback Italian two seat sports car. Up to now, the cars making up Fiat's U.S. return have indeed been diminutive, mostly economy-minded affairs. But the overall effect of Fiat's return has been anything but small, merging with Chrysler in 2014 to create Fiat Chrysler automobiles. And now things get a whole lot more exciting with the 2017 Fiat 124 Spider. Now, this is where we tell you that this 124 is actually built on the same chassis as the Mazda MX-5 and further comes out of the same Japanese plant. But this is far from a story about international badge engineering. They really do look a lot different, at least outside, especially when parked next to each other. Where the MX-5 has gotten meaner looking over the years, the 124 looks classy with a nicely modern update of 60s Italian style. The 124 Spider certainly has a sporty character, but instead of begging you to seek apexes, it yearns for mountain passes and a more relaxed grand touring pace. It's less edgy and more compliant, a kinder, gentler, and softer MX-5, if you will, very reminiscent of the first Miata. The engine is another clear departure. In place of the Miata's naturally aspirated 2-liter is the same 1.4-liter multi-air turbo 4 found in other current Fiats, including the raucous 500 Abarth. Here it spins up 160 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque. It winds up quickly, but despite more horsepower and torque, an increase in size and weight makes the 124 a tad less spirited off the line than the MX-5, though the exhaust note adds to its much-enjoyed Italian flair and it surely fits in with the character of the original 124 Spider, which was an every man's take on a Ferrari. We hit 60 in 7.6 seconds and cleared the quarter mile in 15.8 seconds at 91 miles per hour. Refreshing. Our tester came with the optional six-speed automatic in place of the standard six-speed manual. It worked well enough with smooth shifts, but really could use some paddle shifters for truly living out the Italian dream. Yes, you can shift manually with the shifter itself, but it's just not the same. After taking a few trips through the cones, our early impressions were confirmed. The 124 Spider does respond softer than a Miata. Steering is numb feeling, but accurate, and there's always the possibility of snapping the rear loose, as even with the cushier feel, the car remains plenty responsive. But while unique outside and under the hood, the interior is another story. It's almost a direct MX-5 copy, including dash top infotainment screen that responds to touch and a console mounted controller. To get navigation, you have to opt for Lusso trim and then add the premium collection package. The 124's gauges look great and steering wheel placement is just about perfect. Also, there's still no dash mounted glove box rather a storage bin in between the seats, but you do get an outside trunk release. And with five and a half inches more length, there's more room in the 124's trunk, 4.9 cubic feet versus the MX-5's 4.6. And we love the fact that top operation is still one hand, full down, simple. Thank you, Fiat, for not complicating that. Government fuel economy ratings are 25 city, 36 highway, and 29 combined. We average just 27.1 miles per gallon, and this tiny turbo does require premium. The energy impact score is still good, however, at 11.4 barrels of annual oil consumption with CO2 emissions of five tons. There are three models of 124 to choose from, starting with Classica at $25,990. 
for what it's worth, that makes it the lowest priced turbocharged convertible in America, but also $240 more than a base MX-5. So overall, if you like the MX-5, you'll like the 124. Though while clearly not politically correct, we do think the 2017 Fiat 124 Spider will easily appeal more to female buyers, though it will certainly attract fans of the original 124 as well. Mazda says that without the Fiat partnership for the 124, a new MX-5 might not have happened. Now that would have been a calamity. So we're ecstatic that Fiat decided to bring back the 124 Spider for a global tie-up that everyone who loves to drive should go out and celebrate.